Now to a new clue in the multi-state search for a dangerous inmate who is on the run. Last night, we brought you the story of Samuel Hartman. He's a convicted child rapist who escaped while on work detail. Correspondent Marky Martin joining us live once again tonight. So, Marky, we're learning a lot of information tonight, some new details about who may have been helping him get out. Yeah, Marnie, Samuel Hartman still remains on the run tonight, breaking away from prison, breaking away from that life sentence that he's been serving. And, you know, authorities giving clues or hints as to where they think he might be headed off to. And also tonight, we're learning new information about the identities of one of the women believed to be an accomplice. The mighty Mississippi, a getaway backdrop like none other for Samuel Hartman. The convicted child rapist left the East Arkansas Regional Unit Friday morning on a work detail. Shots fired and he was off. He and an accomplice reportedly using two strategically placed jet skis to cross into Mississippi. Be on high alert. Keep your vehicles, your homes, keep everything locked at all times, safe and secure. Now, deputies originally saying Hartman's mother, Linda White, and sister, Misty Hartman, set up camp in this travel trailer where U.S. Marshals found they stockpiled clothing and women's wigs. But News Nation has learned that Misty and Samuel are actually married. And that's why Misty's hometown of Crescent, Oklahoma, is on high alert. It looks pretty dead today. Uh, a lot of people didn't send their children to school today. Crescent and elementary school parents seeing beefed up police presence after being warned of the brazen escape. Misty's Facebook account even showing ties to the school itself and to that area. They told me that they put out the information as soon as they found out. Um, a little hard to believe. I think that they knew on Friday. Others might find this hard to believe. Samuel Hartman's prison discipline record from Arkansas, almost two dozen total violations, including 16 for possession and manufacture of contraband and trafficking slash trading. Plus, the convicted child rapist had one violation of sexual activity, and he was still allowed out on a work detail. I have protection. I know how to protect myself and my children and my house, but it's, it's still scary, um, especially knowing that there's somebody like that just on the loose and he could be anywhere. Yeah, frightening for so many right now. Now, Crescent, Oklahoma, which is on high alert, that's about 45, 50 minutes north of Oklahoma City. Authorities say he also has ties to Tulsa, even Wyoming. He could be headed to either of those locations. And also, Marnie, we have learned that Misty Hartman is a mother to five girls, all of which she has left behind uh, to help him escape. Marnie. Scary stuff. Uh, Marky, we understand you've also been talking to someone considered a close source to the inmate's wife, Misty, who you mentioned there. Uh, what more did they share about her, about the couple, about the background? Yeah, so I've been talking to this close contact, uh, which I'll just leave at that all day because he's asked not to jeopardize his identity. Uh, he reached out to me initially to say, hey, just want you to know Misty is not the sister. Misty is the wife. Uh, and we did confirm that through the sheriff's departments uh, today. And he went on to say he never in a million years thought she would be capable of doing something like this, leaving behind her five girls. My last question that I asked him today, Marnie, was, do you have any reason to believe that Misty could become violent? Obviously, everybody worried about Samuel, but what about Misty? He said, not the Misty I knew, but honestly, who knows? She just helped a child rapist escape prison. At this point, anything could be possible. Well, and he's Marnie. serving a life sentence, so he's got nothing to lose. It sounds like she has everything to lose. Uh, Marky, on the case, we'll be continuing to follow it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.